this is the All Weasel, Let's Doki Doki Some Literature Club. I, uh, I, uh, I, yeah. <laughs> I checked the files, nothing has changed there in an interesting way. That's what will end up making the Literature Club a special place. I see. I really agree with you. Each member contributes their own you the uh... Oh, hi. <laughs> you really should uh, get that looked into. Might be a doctor situation. Contributes their own unique qualities in a special way. For example, I contribute the blood from my eye. With each change in members, the identity of the club as a whole will change too. I don't think that's necessarily a bad thing. Stepping out of your comfort zone once in a while, stabbing your eyeball a bit. So if you would like to help Monica with the festival, then I'm on your side as well. All right. Well, maybe we can all talk to Natsuki tomorrow. Mm, she'll be dead by tomorrow. That 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 ain't happening. Hey, Yuri. Nani? Um, I know things were a little awkward yesterday, but I feel like you deserve to know that I still think you're a wonderful vice president, and also a wonderful friend. Monica. I want to do everything I can to make this the best club ever. Okay? Me too. Yeah. Let's all go home for today. We'll talk about the festival tomorrow. Okay. I look forward to it. Shall we go, Giannis? Um... Please don't take this the wrong way, but I'm going to chat a little bit with Giannis before we leave. Just to see what he thinks of his time here and all that. It's important to me, as president. Yuri looks a little troubled, but she doesn't protest. Okay. I trust your judgment, Monica. In that case, I'll see the two of you by tomorrow. See you tomorrow, Tilda. Monica waves as Yuri exits the classroom. Phew. Things have been a bit hectic lately, haven't they? What with the bleeding eyes and, uh, uh, d d n Natsuki? <laughs> Natsuki being killed by a father even as we speak? Giannis, I just wanted to make sure you're enjoying your time at this club. I would really hate to see you unhappy. I feel kind of like I'm responsible for that as president. And I really do care about you. You know. I don't like seeing the other girls give you a hard time. With how mean Natsuki is and everything. And Yuri being a little bit, you know. <laughs> Sometimes it feels like you and I are the only real people here. You know what I mean? But it's weird, because in all the time you've been here, we've hardly gotten to spend any time together. Ah, I mean, I guess it's technically only been a couple days. Sorry, I didn't mean you to say something weird. There are just some things that I've been hoping to talk with talk about with you. By the way, I'm the one who can break out of the fourth wall, as is obvious by the fact that I've been in front of the user interface element several times. So just in case you were wondering about that, the reason I already know you is from the previous playthrough of this game. Just making that clear. Things I know only you could understand. So that's why. Wait, not yet, no! Yay! Heartbeat, do do do, death, no, uh, marshmallow, doki doki, hey, who was that jumping out from the bottom? Fireflies, candy, climax, chumpy, lollipop, chocolate, amazing. Uh, oh, this is interesting. <laughs> We're counting in unary here, just as a nice, uh, nice little change. Comfort. Determination. Fireworks. Eternity. Smile. Despise. <laughs> hey there, friend. Chat says it was Monica jumping up from the bottom. You, you were, uh, you were a friend like this last time, too, weren't you? Awesome! Uh, pleasure! Empty. Hey there, buddy! I feel like I've seen that before. Hmm, alright, whatever. Hi, Giannis. I've been waiting for you. I'm in a good mood, which is terrifying. Are you ready to continue reading? I brought my best tea today. Monica, I told you not to. Ugh, is she really late again? Inconsiderate as usual, Natsuki. Excuse me? 
Must you always interrupt my conversations with your incessant yelling? What are you talking about? You say that like I do it on a regular basis or something. I just wasn't paying attention, okay? I'm sorry. Seriously, what's gotten into you lately? Look, I did some thinking about yesterday. I was a little more hostile than I meant to be. I guess I really feel, felt threatening, threatened or something. But I know this is something we're doing together. Another new member wouldn't hurt, as long as they're cool. And I guess another girl would be nice this time. Because three isn't enough, so... Natsuki, nobody cares. Why don't you go look for some coins under the vending machine or something? Well, that was a friendly thing to say. Oh man, I'm the last one here again. Were you practicing piano again? Yeah. Oh! You must have a lot of determination. Have you been playing Undertale? Starting this club and still trying to make time for piano. Well, maybe not determination, but I guess passion. It motivates me to work hard for the festival, too. Anyway, Yonis, what do you want to do today? I was thinking we could... We already have plans today. Ah, uh, is that so, Yuri? That's correct. Yonis is already engaged in a novel that we're reading together. It's The Hungry Hungry Caterpillar. Aren't you glad I've already gotten him into literature, Monica? I... I suppose. I was just... Actually, it doesn't matter. It really doesn't. You guys can do whatever you want. Yes. Um, thank you for understanding, Monica. Actually, I have a request. Do you mind if I make some tea first? N n no you're creeping me out. Thanks very much. If there's one thing that can make my reading time here any better, it's a nice cup of tea. Not to mention for yourself as well. Yuri stands up and makes her way to the closet. I follow and watch as she retrieves a small water pitcher from the shelf to the so kind of the filter inside. We've already seen this. Hold this for a second. Uh, this is the same. Simply watch her movements. Long legs. Water pitcher. That's okay. You stay here. Won't take long. Here is out of the classroom. Ah, oh, did Yuri leave you again? No, it's not like that this time. She's just filling up the water pitcher to make tea. Oh, okay. Sorry for the misunderstanding, Tilda. Ten minutes pass. Yuri said it wouldn't take long. She is just filling up a pitcher after all. Natsuki's dead. Is something holding her up? I'm bored just waiting here, so I decide to go look for her. Let's see. Most logical place for Yuri to be would be the nearest water fountain. I start heading down the hallway. Ha 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 ha! What's that noise? It's coming from around the corner. Sounds like breathing. Oh, <laughs> sharp inhale, like someone is sucking the air through their teeth. Are they in pain? I reach the corner and peer around it. Yuri. Kia! <laughs> I'm back. None of that happened. It's fine. Thanks for waiting patiently. Giannis, do you like oolong tea? Nope! Anything is fine. Very well. Yep, this is all the same. Of course! I know how to make tea! Even if I'm not an expert on tea or anything. Hoo-hoo! Only more impressed. Perhaps I will. She even starts humming a little to herself. Is that so? I was letting it show, and you noticed. I was doing a bit of thinking. I decided I would try expressing myself a little bit more. Turns out I'm, it's not very hard for me to do. Stupidity in chat wants me to restore Monica's character file, but not the others. I deleted everyone, but eh, fine, we'll restore Monica. I'm happy to go with whatever chat suggests. If you don't know that command, then come on, people. I mean, you should know something about how to use a computer if you're going to use a computer. Okay, so that's back. There we go. Monica is returned. Turns out it's not very hard for me to do. When it's you who's around anyway. Oh, she's... I, I think she kills the honest. <laughs> Are her eyes on backwards? Uh, that's great, Yuri. Just don't push yourself too much. You're always worrying about me, Yannis. It's very endearing. That's... Yuri wasn't kidding. I don't even know if I can keep up with this. 
I watch Yuri pour a cup of tea for each of us. I wonder what would happen if I put a different file in the character files. Like, put something else there? Maybe I swapped around the character files? That would be fun. Just, like, play a little bit of, uh, your life Russian roulette with them. <laughs> Giannis, I have another request. Do you mind if we sit on the floor? Why? Yeah, we already... Yep, said this, fine. Just have back pain. Is that so? Wonder why that is. It's most likely because of my gigantic breasts. My... Your posture. Yeah, that's it. Terrible reading posture. Fair enough. Okay. I have the chocolate candies. Luckily, uh, Natsuki isn't here to be annoyed by me doing this. Even closer to each other. Until our shoulders are touching. Is that supposed to be your mouth? <laughs> How am I supposed to focus reading like this? Yuri was always kind of cute, but no. Nah. When she's being less apprehensive, it's almost more than I can handle. Your teacup. Holding it with my hands, it's, uh, my hand that's not holding the book. Even harder to focus. Don't accidentally touch her chest. She hasn't noticed a single thing. Yeah, this is all the same. Finally managed to relax a little. Yep, trying to eat chocolate. Yep, that's all the same. All the same so far. Her left arm is practically resting on top of my leg. Well, in that case, already focused on reading. Doesn't even look away. Yep, this is all the same. Nani? Did... did I just... Um... Giannis. Sorry. Oh, sorry. I guess I shouldn't have done that. Uh... I... I can't... Giannis. Suddenly, Yuri forcefully grabs my arm and jerks me to my feet. My teacup gets knocked over. Giannis. My heart... My heart won't stop pounding, Giannis. I'm having a heart attack. Call the ambulance. I can't calm down. I can't focus on anything anymore. Can you feel it, Giannis? Yuri suddenly presses my hand against her chest. <laughs> Why is this happening to me? Well, it is called Doki Doki Literature Club, so that could be the reason. Just throwing that out there. I feel like I'm losing my mind. I can't make it stop. Ooh, I like those eyes. It even makes me want not want to read. I just want to look at your genitalia. Hi! Ah. Ooh, her eyes sort of move around in a lovely way. <laughs> Hi, Yuri! Ah. Oh, that's her breathing. That's, that's, that's just breathing, it's not laughing. Um, it's time to share poems. What was just happening in here? Oh, is Natsuki here? Let's show it to Natsuki if she's here. This one's all right. All right? Well, yeah, about as good as yesterday's anyway. I still can't really tell how much you actually care about writing, but either way, you're doing all right. Even though you're not really spending time with anyone but Yuri. I still think it's nice to have activities that we all participate in, so you better keep working hard. I mean, I know I'm not president or vice president or anything, but that doesn't mean you can let me down, okay? So at least read mine too for now. But just to be clear, this poem means a lot to me, so read it carefully, okay? Ooh, this is like, this is not a poem. This is, this is just information. I don't know how else to bring this up, but there's been something I've been worried about. Yuri's been acting kind of strange lately. You've only been here a few days, so you may not know what I mean, but she's not normally like this. She's always been quiet and polite and attentive, things like that. 
Okay, this is really embarrassing, but I'm forcing myself to suck it up. The truth is, I'm really worried about her. If I try to talk, try talking to her, she'll just get mad at me again. I don't know what to do. I think you're the only person that she'll listen to. I don't know why, but please try to do something. Maybe you can convince her to talk to a therapist. I've always wanted to try being better friends with Yuri, and it really hurts me to see this happening. I don't, uh, I know I'm going to hate myself for admitting that, but I, but right now I don't care. I just feel so helpless, so please see if you can do something to help. I don't want anything bad to happen to her. I'll make you cupcakes if I have to. Just please try to do something. As for Monica, I don't really know why, but she's been really dismissive about this. It's like she just wants to ignore it. So I'm mad at her right now, and that's why I'm coming to you about this. Don't let her know I wrote this. Just pretend like I gave you a really good poem, okay? I'm counting on you. Thanks for reading. Ooh. Oh, but you broke the universe, so that wasn't nice of you. Bye, face! <laughs> Who needed a face, anyway? I changed my mind. Ignore everything you just read. There's no point in trying to do anything. It's Yuri's own fault that she's so unlikable. Can you hear me, Giannis? If you would just spend more time with Monica, all these problems would go away. Yuri and I are too messed up for someone as wonderful as you. Just think of Monica from now on. Just... Monica... Just... Monica. Just... Monica. Just... Monica. Just... Monica. J yeah, whatever. Just Monica. Well, I did save Monica's character file. Ah, uh, Yuri! <laughs> Finally! <laughs> Yuri holds my poem to her face and eats it. Just inhales it in one breath. I love it. I love everything about it. Giannis, I want to take this home and put it into my body. Will you let me keep it? Please? Sure, I don't care. <laughs> oh, I'm doing that again. You're too nice to me, Giannis. I've never met anyone as nice as you. I could die. Not really, but... I just don't know how to describe it. It's okay to be feeling this way, right? It's not bad, right? Yuri holds my poem to her chest. I'm going to take this home with me and keep it in my room, which is a euphemism for my vagina. <laughs> I... <laughs> Excuse me a second. I just went slightly too weird for my own sake. <laughs> I... I hope that it makes you feel good when you think about me having it. I'll take good care of it. I'll even- Oh, well, yep, I pretty much called it, didn't I? <laughs> I'll even touch myself while reading it over and over. I'll give myself paper cuts so your skin oil enters my bloodstream. You can have my poem, too. Besides, after you read it, I know you're really going to want to keep it. Here, take it. I can't wait any longer. Hurry, read it! Hmm. Yep. That seems about right. I see he has some hate in there. I mean, there's obviously letters. Ed, enter... Duranta tells black Yeah, I'm not gonna try reading it. I like how the text does not scroll with the blood. So she gave me, like, a, a nicely, well, not nicely written, but just the text document, but it's inside, uh, like it's laminated, and the laminate has the blood and the coffee stain or whatever yellow stain that is, which we can guess, and, uh, etc. That, that's all on the laminate. The actual poem is written on the paper that's being laminated. Do you like it? I wrote it for you. In case you couldn't tell, the poem is about... <laughs> the poem is about Unicode. That's cool. More importantly, I've endowed it with my scent. See, aren't I the most thoughtful person in the club? I... I think I'm going to vomit. Bye, have fun vomiting. 
Just Monica. Giannis, I think you saw something earlier that you weren't supposed to see. I didn't want to have to tell you this, but I don't think I have a choice. It's getting kind of dangerous to sp for you to spend so much time with Yuri. I don't know why, but she seems pretty easily excitable when she's around you. Which shouldn't be a problem in itself, but when Yuri gets too excited, she finds a place to hide and starts cutting herself with a pocket knife. Isn't that kind of messed up? Yeah, kind of! She even brings a different one to school every day, like she has a collection or something. I mean, it's definitely not because she's depressed or anything like that. I think she just gets some kind of high from it. Might even be like a sexual thing. But the point is, I've kind of been enabling her. I'm not saying it's your fault though, but I guess that's why I had to explain it all to you. So I think if you keep your distance, that would probably be best for her. While you're at it, don't be shy to spend a little bit more time with me. More! To put it lightly, I at least have it together in the head, and I know how to treat my club members. Yeah, you definitely don't, uh... Don't, yeah, don't, don't have it together in your head. Anyway, I guess we won't, won't worry about your poem. Why not? Oh, right, because Yuri has it. <laughs> Whoops. Uh, let's, uh, let's continue Yuri's exciting adventure next time. Until then, thanks for watching. If you liked the video, you can help decide what I play next at yallweasel.com slash poll. Cheers from Yallweasel.